well, hello there. This is me saying, if Dingus can do it, so can I. I'm in my vehicle, letting it warm up, letting the oil circulate in the engine for a couple minutes here. No heat until we drive for a little bit, but I'm not like my neighbors where they have to let their vehicle run for a half an hour and let the exhaust fumes come into the house because they're so considerate and respectful of the snowflake generation. But hey, I'm going to the river to get away from all that. So if you can do it, I can do it. It's supposed to be about 41, 44 degrees today. When I woke up, it was 21. But I'm out of here. I'll catch you later. Oh, and speaking of my neighbors, I just saw her drive by now. Totally lives off the systems. Uh, I'd like to send them a, a Christmas card. Merry Christmas from the taxpayers. Enjoy, I don't know, something along those lines because they get totally free housing. They rent a house, not an apartment. Um, rubbish removal, electricity's free. Uh, everything's free, 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 free. Daycare, she doesn't work. Neither one of them work, but yet they bring their kids to daycare every day so they can have their free time and do whatever. They've got a, a totally illegal vehicle. It's not registered, not inspected. If it's not registered and not inspected, it's not uh, insured either. And for months, they've been driving around in this car, don't get caught. It's amazing. But if you and I do that, we'd get caught if my inspection sticker ran out. Um, the very first day I ran out on the road, I'd, I'd get caught. But I guess that's, that's how it goes. <laughs> See ya. seven, what, seven or eight big five gallon jugs I'm gonna fill. And then I'm gonna be heading over into the Green Mountain Range. There's uh, Killington up there. All right, gonna get me some water, H2O. All right. So anyway, it is December 20th. I didn't tell you that when I first started shooting. Um, but I made it here, a little bit of a hike along the side of the river to get to this point through a lot of really, really heavy stuff. <laughs> Going through picker bushes, hoping not to rip my waders so I have them for springtime. But anyway, this is the extreme terminating end of a major inside bend. I mean, that this, is, this goes way around the corner. The river's like way over there, and it just comes right around. And during Irene and other high water stages, it's deposited this big mound of tailings up in here. But I've done good down through here before. Somewhere up in here I found what I called the, uh, the hell was it, a, a vortex. Um, I had old video somewhere, I don't know where it is. But I was digging down, getting nice chunky pieces of gold, big pieces of gold. And then all of a sudden, it was like a friggin' somebody flushed a toilet. Water was being sucked down through the rocks and under the river. So I said, well, no sense in digging here anymore. All the gold that was in there just got sucked right down. <laughs> so that was, that was quite interesting. 
but uh, I'm gonna set up somewhere in here. I'm gonna try to get it set up and uh, do some digging right around where my stuff is. And hopefully get a few colors today, that'd be nice. So I'll talk to you later. All right, a little bit of work. Got that area prepped out and I got my setup. Haven't started digging yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and get going. See what we get. Try not to get a little wet. I've already got water in one glove. <laughs> Get out fairly good, and I see my battery's about to die. But only about an hour and 15 minutes worth of digging. My feet were getting cold standing in that water. All right, had to take my battery out and warm it up. But anyway, about an hour and 15 minutes worth of digging. Probably can't even really see it much, but. About 50 pieces in there. Nothing bigger than 50 mesh. That's not bad for an hour and 15 minutes or so. And of course, every bit of this, let me zoom back out. Every bit of this above the water level is frozen solid. So I really can't do much of anything. Um, I, try, I scratched over here right on the surface. I saw some black sand. <laughs> I only got that little tiny bit, maybe one shovel full. And I had to pick away at it just to get that shovel full. But there was about five pieces right in that there. Nothing big, but so it'd be nice to get back in here and dig into this. I mean, most of your bigger rocks are over it, down at this layer. As you come up here, it's smaller. But this is, uh, like I said, right on the tailing end of an inside bend, so who knows what's underneath all this smaller stuff. I know I did find some hematite up in this area. Fairly good sized chunks, so heavies are dropping out up here. But can't do anything with it right now, it's just too frozen. But in an hour and 15 minutes, I dug that right down pretty deep. I mean, you see where the level was. If I stand right there, it's up over my knees. And I dug this, dug this whole area out right here. And I think that vortex hole was just up around the corner. I just walked up there. That was really interesting. Thing to come across, I'll tell you. There was one rock I was trying to get out of there, and uh, it didn't want to come up. I knew it was loose enough. And then when I got it up, it just about sucked my hand down the hole. The shelf ice is pretty thick, but stay close to the edge here. Somewhere up in here. Maybe right about in this area. I can't remember. That was two years ago. I think it was like right in here. It's really weird. But everything's starting to freeze. Now I'm showing one bar when I had three after warming the battery up, so I'm going to cut this short. My feet are kind of cold, they're warming up now, but so I'm going to get out of here, go home. I still got to plug eight, five gallon buckets of water, not buckets, but jugs of water in the house, so I'll catch you all later. <laughs>